check it out guys we're gonna take a look at this 2025 Freightliner Cascadia and BSI I like the fact that the batteries and stuff for the uh, for the uh, electronic power unit is on the outside back here under the catwalk Of course, this is a refrigerated unit back here. Really nice truck, though. To jump points down there. It's got the arrow on the wheels. This truck had 20 miles on it about a week. Let's have a look on the inside of this really nice truck. Y'all know Trucker Jerry. You've seen him in other videos. What's up? This is his truck. I could ought to get in here and take off. You want me to drive you somewhere? <laughs> sure. Let's you got, out you got this you got this seat set up high like you always roll. Yeah. So you got the inside camera or the outside, just the outside camera? This is the Bendix. The Bendix on the deal. This is the uh, outward facing camera. And then uh, the rest of it's your stuff. Down and then here. this is the pre pass, pre -pass. That came, and then they provide this and this also this other Well that all takes up a lot of windshield real estate. Of course uh I've got my own Rand McNally dash cam. Yeah. And then this has got a dash cam in it as well. So. Which it ain't going to work pointed that direction. No, it don't. I don't worry about it. I, I run this one. And it might pick one. up that mirror over there and show the side of your truck. Yeah. Like I said, they run Sometimes that Sometimes that's one. a big deal. They run this one. It's got audio on it. It only comes on supposedly when... When you an create event. an event. Yeah. Because uh, of this Bendix. Uh, turn the key. Well, well, I, don't, I got the key in there. I don't know. I'm looking for the damn Down key. There. Oh, it's way, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn the key, let it set for a second to cycle. And then uh -huh. you can start it up and see all the dash stuff. Oh. You can move that steering Max wheel. Max throttle detent during ABA. Yeah, just press Overrides it. Detroit Assurance. Yeah, you Whatever that, that means. All right, we got her fired up. Had to turn off the copyrighted music started playing. She was getting down, too. Oh. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I like the way it looks, but uh, check this out. Over here, you can do it manually, or you can do it uh, touch screen. Uh, so you can go to home. Um, you got all your your phone, XM radio. They pay the company I drive for pays for XM radio, but um, oh, that's cool. Check this out. Gauges. So you're gonna add gauges over there? Well, yeah. What if you just pick one? Well. And then, wait a minute, hang on a minute. Hold on. Engine oil pressure, and it should show up right there. Well, but uh, it ain't. Go ahead and shut the truck off. Let me see here. And recycle it. Engine oil, engine oil temperature. It's being, it's being contrary, huh? Yeah, this is a 2025. They're already preset. I don't know why I did that. That's kind of a cool start screen. Let's see if it'll cycle back up this time. Nope, still ain't gonna do it. So you go there. So it's acting like the rest of the electronics doing yeah, these crazy things. Engine oil pressures there. Yeah, you can put whichever one you, you want. You can put any of these. Normally it shows up. I don't know what's going on with it because it's gotcha. probably you, a programming issue. But but you but can put any of the gauges there. It may just be it may just be uh taking a while for it to start working. Let's have a look at the rest of the truck. <coughs> it's kind of fancy, but uh it yeah. is what it is. Optimized idle. Uh huh. Um, it's kind of sketchy. Everything else seems to work. Um, That's your auto fit, your fifth wheel release or electronic fifth wheel release? Electronic, yeah. And then um, you got to have the brake set for that to work. The lighting and then, of course, all of that. Now, in case you guys are wondering on that, on that uh, cab release on that fifth wheel, if you got your brake set, uh, both brakes set you have to have both of them set if you got both brakes set you can press that button and it usually has a you probably usually answer it ask you twice if you want to do it yeah but that'll that'll release the fifth wheel so you can back up and release your fifth wheel without having to uh get out of the truck if you got the gear down mm -hmm. and you've also got a deal where you can raise the raise the back wheels up so so check this up he can back up under a trailer and raise the bags up an extra amount 
three inches. And like three more inches and pull the trailer out with the gear still all the way down. And then get out and crank up the gear. If you got the gears, if the trailers are real close together, you can do that. So it's pretty cool. Check this out. Look up here. Come on, I'm going to head it that way. Oh, yeah, you're fading out lights. Okay, so you got these yeah. lights. These are the sleepers. Yeah. And then you've got the dome lights, which is that. Uh-huh. Very bright. And then you've got the ambient light, which I like. All the light. That's kind of cool. And then... Hold on. You got is, speakers up there in the top. We're going to check out the stereo a little bit, too, because... Check it out. This, is a, uh, this is a car audio channel. There you go. So back here in the back, we got uh, any speakers down there? No. So you got your two speakers from the rear back here, and then you got the door speakers down there. I think it's just four four speakers. So four you got speakers. the door speakers and the back speakers, mm -hmm. which is standard except for these are mounted up high. So I don't know how that works exactly. But we got a microwave hole over here. Mm -hmm. Now mind you, the company. The company provides what on top of what the truck already has? The, the company provides a microwave, they provide a dorm size refrigerator. Full refrigerator with freezer. Big old door. Look at that. Lots of space up in there. Uh-huh. You got it full of food too. I know oh, where yeah. to go and to. They eat. also provide a TV. That's your TV. Uh, and that's what they provide. And then what I like is this. You got this big huge cubby up here. It goes all the way. It allows around. you to put stuff up there. Oh, they provide the leaf blower for your truck. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. The Get you a leaf blower. They do provide that. And then uh let me see your controls over here. Get out of the way here. Yeah. So we'll get over here on the bunk. Now, the only reason I'm allowed to sit on this bunk is because we're basically there you broken. go now that's your voltage showing up there showing the voltage of your batteries and then you got all the controls for the bunk itself now um that little and this little light is kind of cool i remember you showing this to go. me you got a little light up here and you can bend it down and mm -hmm. set it up to where you can read yes sir and it just goes put that back where it belongs here and then uh yeah. this right here what you're looking at yeah this is what turns on the inverter I'll show you where that is. Yeah, the, 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 uh, yeah. But it turns on the inverter. If this is not on, your refrigerator and microwave doesn't work. Right, so that's that's letting you know that you got power. This is your Escobar heater that's underneath the bunk. Yeah, that's dark back here. Turn that light back right here. here. This bar heater right here. Uh huh. Control for that's it. The, that's the gas or diesel powered heater. The underneath the bunk. Underneath uh -huh. the bunk, right. And then, of course, you got your, your EPU. Your regular controls for this your is, climate controls. Yeah, this is EPU right here. Got a little bit of stereo control back here. I see a mute button. There's yeah. probably a volume and control and stuff right. back here too. Um, that's it in a nutshell. That's that cool. Off. But yeah, you got a couple <coughs> of underwear, man. Got a closet here. Can I open this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, good, man. Go closet ahead. over here. You don't have a mirror. No, I need to. Put you need, one you on need there. a mirror up there. There's a couple of radios, y'all. He got them. Good, good old, down good old radios, old school. Y'all just yeah. drool all over that. And oh, then, you CB guys out there, yep. that's serious radio action. And then uh, you got uh, <coughs> Freightliner sucks at this, but yeah, that's a kind of a messed up little table, but it ain't bad. I mean, it's a table. And then you got this another little storage hole. Yeah, a little hole to store stuff in down there. That's cool. You got lots of storage. This. Pretty fancy truck. Got storage up there. Got a big old storage hole up here. And one over here. Got one up there on top of that. Got storage right there. Got a storage hole up there and over there. I went in right here too. One over the top of the driver and the passenger we'll seat. Put that Galaxy radio in here, uh -huh. but it won't fit because of this. So it's I'm too gonna, tall. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to drop this, undo this from starting this. Can you put there. it in the top hole? Can no, you fit it up here? Fit. So I'm gonna pull this down, this whole thing down, and uh -huh. this shelf just snaps in. Oh, okay. After I pull this down, I'm gonna take this shelf out, yeah. and then I'm there gonna put go. the Galaxy in there, and uh, it'll have this whole space, and then I can do whatever. Yeah, can you, uh, well, turn off the ambient light. I, I turn the volume off on the radio, but show me the functions. Okay. You're messing with the ambient lights. Yeah, I'm turning off the lights. There's too many lights on in here. <laughs> too uh, damn many lights. Radio. All right, here yeah. we go. Volume's all the way down. Yeah. This is for my phone. And I'm not going 
going to show you a whole lot on so that. So you got Bluetooth. But, but I'm going to add a device. I'm going to add my phone because I'm going to be pulling out here in just a minute. Yeah. Okay. It says connection failed, but it connected. Yeah. Um, so go back down here. Okay. So this is what I'm going to Stand on to. it. Yeah. Good song. And then if you press the music button again. It's supposed to, there you go. Well, hold on. I pressed it. Got to be patient. Sirius XM, FM, AM, and then your weather channel is right there. So do you have any audio settings anywhere? Um, Push a little gear button. There is. I found them once. There you go. Push that. But I haven't messed Push with Push that again. Lot. This one? Yeah. All right. Got a little basic EQ, just mid, yeah. mid, mid uh, treble and bass, nothing fancy. And then um, back out of there. Got you a Vader. Push, and yeah, go down got, to that other one, that audio that one adjust there. thing. Get that one. What is that? That's just an on and off thing. Okay. So, so that, that adjusts your volume depending on yeah. what you're listening to, so you'll have the same sound level if you switch from one yeah. source to the other. That's kind of cool. That's it in a nutshell. And we got we have a uh, it's muted right now. So hit that little block button up here in the top right hand corner. This one? Yeah. What's that do? Uh, that's a good question. I'm still learning myself. Oh, that takes you to oh, the it optimized takes you back to that. Yeah. Okay, that's the go. That's kind of the the, the big uh, yeah window to go to a big window. But that's a nutshell, <coughs> brother. Let's see here, your sleeper dome. That's all your light controls, and what else down there? Um, you have all your light controls on this side, including your footwell. And then uh, over here, you got your utility lights, which are on the outside. It's got spotlights on both sides, Yeah. LEDs. Uh, your light test, if you're out walking around right, the truck right, and trailer. Right. Uh, this is your slip, slippage or spin, if you start spinning. All right, trash yeah. control. Um, and you have a, lot, a diff lock? This one here, I'm you not for sure what this one does. But, um, Oh wait, maybe you do. Yeah, I do. Hold on, it's down I here. It. This is air slide. This yeah, is it right here. That's it right Axle there. Axle yeah. unlock and lock. And then this is a fifth wheel pin release as well. Yeah. And then this is the bags down. And bags one up. down and then bags up is one, or the bags down one button, push it up once and then it goes back to normal. Yeah. And then press it, push up, it again, up again and then and it'll raise up three kick. inches. That way yeah. you can do the landing gear and then you push it down once. That's pretty cool. Override engine shutdown. So let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the truck and the way it's configured right now? Truck is perfect except, uh, I don't know why Freightliner doesn't do this, but they need to put a table in here. Okay. Uh, there is no table in here, and I like to get out my computer. There's no real table. They no got this table. They got like this little thing KWs over here. KWs or Peter yeah. and stuff. They'll have a, a table that'll slide in and out, usually over there. Mm. And that's what I miss the most in this truck. Outside of that, these seats are, both of them are heated and cool, so you can uh, control. Heated and air-conditioned seats. Oh yeah, you can heat up your bottom and your back, or cool off your bottom yeah. and your back, uh, depending on which one you want to do, and, and I like that. So, other than that, if I had a table, I'd be, well, a table, and there's one other thing. I need to figure out how to put a sound system in here without interfering with the, I don't want to mess with the door speakers, and I, I, I can I can tell you how to I do that. I want to do something that doesn't affect, you know, that's separate because I usually Bluetooth off of here. Do you, do you like the sound system or does it sound like meh? It's meh. It, it's it'll meh. get by. Yeah, it's nothing to write. I haven't heard it, guys, because I, I didn't want to have it playing for the copyright reasons. So, uh, and all he's going to have available there handy is copyright music. Uh, unless you go over to my channel. Right, guys, here we go. And nice cold beer Turn that down, the show begins Air tricks blowing, you can feel the wind Falling mirrors, breaking windshield glass Big bass systems, cold kick in some ass Spinning on the it's way up loud Big subs, big wires, and a big old crowd You know that when you know Just to try to be full of my stereo Shoves in the back, you're hitting that low Big range clean, is the heart of the show Crossovers to separate all right, you're right. It don't sound bad, but I'm telling you right now, all it really needs is a little bottom end, a little subwoofer, a little powered subwoofer. 
if we could tap it into these back channels back here mm -hmm. and run you a powered sub or something underneath the bunk and tie the uh, power and ground into your uh, uh, your inverter we should be able to do that without any major change mm -hmm. so just run a powered sub in there tied into your inverter and run a, a, a feed line off of those guys you have to get it open and get a wire hooked up to the back and drop it down in the crack and drop it down under the bunk hook it up to your power sub and then get a, get a power off of your uh, where your inverter hooks up and you can run a power sub under there I think it would make a big huge difference in here that's what I suggest first of all engage is messing with you huh yeah it's aggravating because I had them all up set up the way I wanted them and now it's being contrary uh, that sounds about right anyway I need to get you out of here so this is a 2025 Freightliner Cascadia what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments. Cool truck, in my opinion. This stuff here is cool, but it's, well, obviously, you guys saw, it's kind of wonky. So here's that. Here's that big old inverter we were talking about. That powers everything, and the turn on switches inside. It's wired to turn on. Yeah, see, so you can come in here slide the inverter out to get to the power and where it connects or just right here actually tie on your ground and power here mount your sub in this box yeah there's nothing in there right the set it right in there and then run your speaker wire down from that top down in here and run it to that powered the sub will do if I it, it's not too bad you just want to get the biggest power sub you can afford to get and put in there That'd be something that'd be fairly easy to move from truck to truck. It wouldn't require very much, very much work to, uh... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, those are cool. A little work like. All right, guys. We were looking at this thing. This is for a home, uh, home audio system. And it's got a high-level inputs. Uh, left and right channel and uh, so it's also got low level inputs right here we don't need those though we'd use the high level inputs it's got a volume control the frequency it's got a phase adjuster auto on so you can use it the signal to turn it on and off and it's got a DSP for an app which we probably wouldn't use that for anything really but this runs off of uh, regular home power and we can just plug this straight into the inverter and not have to do any major wiring. Literally all we have to do is uh, drop a wire off the speaker back there to give it a signal and it would handle the rest. And uh, this has got a 12 in it and two passive radiators. There's the blown out version. So you can kind of see what's going on. So it's got two passive 12 inch radiators so it's going to play a lot like a ported box. This thing here will thunder underneath there. There you go.